We all love wrestling games, don't we? From the brilliant and timeless to the uh, and forgettable to the whatever the hell this monstrosity was. But what about handheld wrestling games? No, I'm not talking about games designed for or ported to existing handheld consoles like WWF Superstars for the Game Boy, Steel Cage Challenge for the Game Gear, or SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 for the Sony PSP. No, I'm talking about these bad boys in front of me here. And I feel like I need to explain what these are because there will be people watching this video who have never seen one of these before, who didn't grow up with them. So apologies if you did. These are handheld LCD mini games for the most part. And we're gonna go through all of them in chronological order. Um, but I never had any of these specific games here. However, I did have a game called Tailspin. You may remember the cartoon. And Tailspin, handheld LCD mini game that was developed by Tiger Electronics, who really sort of cornered the market in these handheld games. And they acquired licenses for Spider-Man, James Bond, Home Alone, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I spent countless hours on mine. Was it as fun as a Game Boy? No, but to my six-year-old pea-sized brain, it was fun enough, and the batteries lasted a hell of a lot longer than a Game Boy to boot. So we went to eBay and we cleared them out. We bought every single wrestling handheld available back in March. And this was meant to go out, and then obviously coronavirus happened, and now there are a few more that have popped up on eBay uh, that we don't have here. So do not consider this by any means an exhaustive list of wrestling handhelds, but we've got a nice cross section from way back when. Feeling old yet? I am. So we're gonna do this in chronological order, but before we start, let's talk about what I think, as far as my research tells me, is the first LCD wrestling game licensed by a major promotion. And that was WWF's WrestleMania, released all the way back the year I was born in 1988. Here you play as Hulk Hogan taking on Andre the Giant at WrestleMania 3, and this was actually released just before WrestleMania 4, and it features three whole buttons related to gameplay, up, down, and wrestle. You can imagine how fun that is. We don't have that one here. It's since popped up on eBay, obviously. Uh, what we do have from 1989, the year after, is WrestleMania Challenge. Now, let me get my Ashens cam. So as you may know, Wrestling Challenge was a game published by LJN for the NES in 1990. This has nothing to do with that game. So this is a little bit like the original Donkey Kong games, where you're trying to get to the top. Oh, that's piercing. I will angle this as best I can, but there I am at the bottom. I am playing as Terry Bollea, uh, Hulk Hogan, and there he is with his trusty ladder, which he always used to carry with him, and I've already died. Good start. Uh, that's me once again at the bottom, and it looked like it looked like Bret Hart coming at me there. I'm not sure if it's meant to be or not. So we go up, 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 and we get to the top. We take out these bad guys. Didn't do it. Let's try again. You've got to be pretty quick. If they hit you, you start from the beginning all the way to the top, and I got hit again, and that's game over. What a brilliant start. Let's try again. God, the noise. It is so awful. Right. Oh. Try again. No, back. Bang. Wait for him there. Up we go. Take him out. Up to the top and then big boy here and you've just got to pound him. Oh. Not like that though. So wait for it. Wait for him to stop kicking. Oh, watch out for him. Boom, stop kicking, bang, bang, bang. And I've taken him out, and there you go. And then you're gonna go and save, I guess, Miss Elizabeth? I don't know who that's meant to be at the end there, but it's not letting me move right. Uh, I'm pressing right again and again. You can see me pressing right there. Uh, maybe I need to go down, maybe I need more points before I can move up, that seems pretty stupid. Take him out, back up we go. No, and I've died. Plenty of that, that'll do. So that was made by Acclaim, who were responsible for a lot of the early WWF games, but let's go to WCW. Uh, and this was produced by Systema, um, and I couldn't find that much on them. I know they developed Mad Max handheld games, they did Back to the Future 3. As you can see here, it's pretty primitive once again. 
The sound is quieter. That's good, maybe it's just the batteries running out. So we're in the ring, it's one on one, and I'm getting chopped to death right now. That's me on the left, and it's, I'm not, I'm doing what I can. Okay, there you go. I, I'm, well, you can see there that Sting and Arn Anderson are featured, but I'm not really sure these guys look like Sting and Arn Anderson, and I'm dead! Let's try again. Okay, we're back in. There's only one button, there's one attack button, so I'm just smashing it, but it's, I'm not getting many shots in. In fact, I don't think I've got any shots in. Quite difficult. I mean, I'm not, he's not even going to punch. Like even when I'm down here, he's not throwing a punch. Maybe that button's knackered. That's plenty of that. That's WCW World Championship Wrestling by Systema. It's not very good, obviously, but it was released in 1991. Uh, so I think we can excuse that. Also though, from 1991, something which looks a little bit better, in fact, significantly better. There's a lot going on here. Let's get a nice close up for you with the Ashens cam. Um, so we've got Hogan on the left, obviously. We've got Hennig, we've got DiBiase, Slaughter, Earthquake, and The Undertaker, uh, all famous foes of Hulk Hogan, who I'm assuming we're going to be playing as today. Um, it's, it's beefy, it's, it's a beefy bit of kit, and of course it's developed by Tiger Electronics, the big boys. Uh, they are the, the, the gold standard, as it were, of these awful, awful games. And we're straight into it, right, I'm Hulk Hogan there on the, am I playing? This might be a demo mode, let's try again. Start. So it's Hulk Hogan versus Earthquake to begin with, and he's, He's looking trim, is old John Tenter, straight away, pounding him. But the, the problem is here, I don't know how well you can see it. I've got a health bar, Quake doesn't. My health bar is depleting, Quake's isn't because it's non-existent. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, so I guess I'll just keep attacking him, just crack on with it. He can't get a shot in. If I just keep, oh no, he has, he's taken a bit of, uh, okay, no, here we go, push. I've got a push button and I've got an escape button. Push doesn't seem to be working. I can grab him. Oh, there we go. Grab, power slam, sort of, sort of. And hopefully I'm gonna get the pin pretty soon. You would think so, wouldn't you? He's taken a lot of damage. Drop the leg, Hogan, come on, you bastard. So I've been playing this for about four or five minutes now um, and nothing's really happening. Uh, I, I can't pin him, there's no pin button. There's a push button, an escape button, but nothing's doing anything. And I can't, it, I'm getting a bit bored of it is what I'm saying. Um, so these retail, right, for about $20. So it's significantly cheaper than most of the video games back in the day for the NES or the SNES or any of the, the video games. And of course you didn't have to buy the console. It all comes as one thing. But also on the downside, it's not very good. Um, what we will do, if we press the little ACL button here, it's like a reset button and we should be able to see, we should be able to see all of the positions of the characters that's too big, that's too big. So let's try with a pen instead. Just mash the pen in there. Come on. There you go, and if we freeze frame that, right, you can see all of the positions of all of the characters. And at the top, you can see, indeed, that it's Earthquake, then Ted, then Kurt, then Slaughter, then Taker as the final baddie, but I can't get any further and I don't want to waste any more time trying. So let's move on. Once again from 1991 here, this one is courtesy of Acclaim um, and it's the Royal Rumble. You can see Hogan as featured in the Royal Rumble 91 poster. You can tell it's the 91 poster because in the 92 poster, which he looks quite similar, he's grimacing. But here he's got a big cheesy grin because he's going to go on to win the thing. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a problem here. This was 25 pounds <laughs> from eBay and fresh batteries in there, unfortunately. And hopefully this is gonna be the only one that, ugh, get in you bastard. This is gonna be the only one that does this, but it doesn't seem to be working. On, 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 and pressing on again and again. This was literally the most expensive one, 25 quid, and it won't even turn on. And I've, let's try bashing that ACL button in. But I don't think that's gonna do it, is it? Put the ACL in, it's, it's connecting there. No, so 
Uh, we don't know how good this is going to be. I'm assuming that it's going to be of a similar quality to the other ones that we've just looked at. So apologies um, for you missing out on seeing that. But I have just looked at a YouTube video quickly and I can tell you that it's not actually a Royal Rumble. It's pinfall, but it is two on one. The first time that we've seen that in any of these, you're playing as Hogan because obviously, um, and you're going up against The Undertaker and Earthquake. It looks very similar to the other ones. You haven't missed out on anything, I promise. And now we are fast forwarding six years to 1997. It's the Attitude Era. It doesn't look like WWE were releasing many uh, during the New Generation Era or anything like that. I can, it looks the same with WCW. So here we are in 1997 and have things advanced technologically? Have they balls? This was produced by MGA Entertainment, uh, who I hadn't heard of before this. And they actually released these for loads and loads of different wrestlers. Uh, so there was Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, Mankind, Vince McMahon, Mark Mero, Jacqueline and Sable. And uh, just to clarify, like Mero and, and Sable weren't together. You're, you're playing as either Mero or Sable. So they really went balls to the wall with this. So let's mode level there we go oh jesus you'd think they'd sort the sound in six years it's the exact same and here we go we're moving along and we're taking out the bad guys let's see if we can get past the big boy at the top this time not if i do that let's try again no ladder here he's just jumping up into the into the second ring you bastard right let's try concentrate adam eat the first two easy there's an energy bar down there. Maybe I needed to get that. Boom, boom, boom. Knock him out. I bollocked it. Sorry. I don't know if that's meant to be Kane's theme. It's nothing like that, is it? I want to get that energy. I'm going to get that energy, right? Take him out. Grab the energy. I can't grab the energy. Okay, that didn't work. Grab the energy. Oh, bollocks to the energy, right. Taken out, done it, job done. Can I move further? I'm doing something wrong here because I've got the exact same problem. I can see the bloody world title. It's the winged eagle there, I think. Can you see that? And I can't get to it because I've bollocks this up somehow and I don't know where. Take your time, easy. Grab the energy, pressing up, doesn't get the energy. Was I in the right place there? There are gonna be people in the comments going mental saying, you're doing it wrong, Adam. I No, I can't, I can't get the energy wherever I am. 1,500 points, that's enough. Bollocks to this. I'm losing my temp, ah, there we go, straight up. Straight, I can't move, I can't move. Look, I'm pressing right, right, right. He won't go, plenty of that, that's enough. Goodbye, Kane. I should have got the Sable one, bye. Moving forward a year to 1998 now, and it is MGA Entertainment's In The Ring. And as you can see here, uh, it's a two player game. Controls there, controls there. This is missing something, right? They released three versions of this. Kane and Austin, Taker and Austin, and Mankind and Austin. It's 1997, obviously. But there are some cool features here. So they would, um, the, the figures would slot into these bits here um, and they would sit on it and you could use them to uh, control the, the LCD, the actual gameplay, right? Um, but you can still do this with them, right? Look, maybe. If you go to the underside, there's one. They pop out. So you could sit across from your mate, not at the moment, social distancing and all that. You could sit across from your mate, hold it up the right way and do all the good stuff. So right, let's put that on. The, the screen is very, very dim. I'm not sure what you can see there. That's the one thing, right? New features like the pop out controller, but, ow, oh, that hurt, right, great, but, it's still the same bollocks, isn't it? Look at it. Uh, so, we've got start slash kick, throw, escape, up, return, and punch. Uh, mode, oh, we're in the game. We've got Aust Kane and Austin. Kick, so there's me as Kane, kicking Austin, punching Austin, and I'm winning-ish, yeah? Very difficult to do with one hand. Can you see any of what I'm doing? It's not actually responding to what I'm doing very well. I'm not actually pressing the buttons that it's doing, but I know it's not on demo mode. I'm like I didn't move. Am I Austin? Oh, bollocks, am I Austin? No, what the hell is going on here? Right, you, 
once again, let's just get a close up so you can see the, the gameplay. You're not missing anything. It's all doing its, its own thing. But it's kind of cool, right? The pop out controllers and everything. That's a laugh, isn't it? Um, there are a few different modes, maybe. Oh yeah, this, this screen goes up and down as well. Spring loaded, sexy. Level one, I, I'm giving up. I'm giving up on that one as well. Sorry this is becoming a bit of a recurring theme in this video, but I think you understand what I'm working with here. And now it's time to use the scissors because we've got a sealed LCD game here. So this is developed by Tiger once again. It says on the packet, uh, exciting WCW slash NWO wrestling game starring the giant. Send your wrestler into battle with one touch linking. Seven levels of hard hitting off the ropes action. Ten moves, including the choke slam. Great. It's a nice looking thing. It's like a belt, isn't it? That's kind of cool. Um, and on the back we've got here, uh, it's very difficult to read because somebody has scribbled all over it. $15, by the way. Standing seven foot four, and weighing in at 450 pounds, the giant is the biggest man in professional sports today. He is one of the most powerful men in the world, and using his chokeslam, he can almost send his opponents through the mat. Almost, not quite, not good enough. Dominate the competition with size and power. And you can see there, also available, um, are Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Wolfpack Sting and Bill Goldberg. So four different ones uh, to go with. And it, you can see there, yeah, one touch linking. So you can um, you can put them together and I guess play against each other if you want to have a bad time. This, you know this packaging, right? This is the packaging where essentially I'm just forming more blades. You could use the packaging on these things to stab your enemies should you so wish. It's so shy. I don't even want to touch it. It's ridiculously dangerous. Get your parent or guardian to do it. I'm a 31 year old man, so it's fine. And there we have it. It's a lovely looking thing. It's got a bit of weight to it. It's brand new, look at that. And I need a screwdriver. Give me one second. Smooth opening. I'm so well prepared that I'm stealing the batteries from the TV remote. I will remember to put them back. And prepare yourselves for disappointment. Oh, there's a lot going on there though. Pop, I'm not even going to pop the back on because I'm, I'm not going to be using it for very long, am I, if we're honest. Uh, on, start. So I'm playing as the giant versus God knows who, I can't tell. Looks a bit like Sean Stasiak, but it wouldn't be. Uh, I don't, it's just, it's the giant versus a jobber. We're going to try and do one of the exciting moves, perhaps the choke slam, but it's much like the others, isn't it? And that's not doing any damage. He's blocking me, I guess. These movement buttons don't seem to be doing anything. Am I playing? I am playing, this is the game. It's, it says a lot, right, when you're playing this and you don't know if it's the demo mode because it's that, it's, it's that awkward and that unclear. So I'm going, the button is sticking quite a lot. I don't know if you can see that. The button just sticks down, so you have to press it twice to do one action. I'm having a whale of a time, guys. There is the uh, the linking thing. I don't think you're going to get to see the choke slam. Sorry for being disappointing once again. Um, you're used to it by now. And there you go. You can link up and play with your friends if you have any, uh, as, as as the giant and Hogan, Sting, or Berg. Uh, and there, that's 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 enough of that again, isn't it? Let's get the battery back out. I think. So that was Tiger Electronics, by the way, 1998. Um, meant to be the big boys, but I'm disappointed once again. We'll pop that down there. But this, I'm very, very excited about, right? I'm gonna go through the whole packet here. So this is WWF's Reality Fighters. And what I can work out from this is that it's essentially Tamagotchi with balls, massive bulbous balls, because you can control Stone Cold Steve Austin. And wait for it, right? You can. Feed him, fun him, train him, sleep him, status him, train him again, uh, fight him, <laughs> or medical treatment. There are eight different things that you can do with him there. So feeding, fun, individual training program, sleep, status, training, fighting, medical treatment. If you've seen a Tamagotchi before, you sort of know what to expect here, but it's with wrestlers, so it's more exciting. And then you can get it in Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and Kane. All four fighters are available in this game. I'm talking bollocks. All four in one. All that, for the price is still on there, $19.99. That's unreal, there's a demo button. Somebody's pulled the tab out, that's not gonna work anymore. Oh, it's okay, I've got, I've got extra batteries. We're all good, that doesn't work. With real voice and sound effects, they've gone to town on this. This, this looks brilliant. Uh, it says there, 
Train your fighter, then connect and knock out your friends. Friends has got an apostrophe in it for some reason. Uh, the only fully interactive one or two player game ever. It's the only one. It's the only fully interactive one or two player game ever made. And that's a fact. Uh, I can't wait to open this. I uh, feel the game shake when your player gets hit. It's got bloody rumble in there. I, I, let's, just, let's just get on with it. T play on two big screens at once. I guess it connects. Yeah, look, there's a little, um, what looks like a 3.5 mil. No, it's a bit small. I don't know. It's got a little port in there. Let's get this bad boy open right now. <laughs> I feel so unsafe doing this. Mum, if you're watching, I promise I know how to use scissors. I'm a big boy. Oh, right, let's just rip it open. Here we go. Look at that, it's got a belt clip. It's got a bloody belt clip, that's huge. Pop that on your belt, look like a total badass. And there we go, look. I need to find some bloody batteries here. Demo button here, that can come off in a second. Slide down, lift up to remove, what? Slide down to remove lift up. What do you mean? Oh, there we go, like push it. Keep in mind, this is bloody old, this thing. It's a bit brittle feeling. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. I don't know which way I'm meant to be doing this. I'm going to break this. I need to get there to get the battery in. It worked. I've lost my belt clip, but it worked. Oh my God, it's got a little cable in. Look, you cable into your mate. Either one of you can do it. It goes in there. They've spared no expense here. Where the hell does the battery go? It's right there. I'm an idiot. It's right there. Let's open this up. Oh, my screwdriver doesn't fit. Is it working? It's gonna take a while. This isn't going to plan, everybody, and I don't have another screwdriver. This is the one that I wanna see the most. I'm not gonna fail. I'm not gonna fail here. I've, oh, I've mashed the head of the screw. Oh, no. I'm having a nightmare. No, that's going to make it worse. Flip! What am I going to do? Bollocks to it. Right, we're breaking the cover off. Sorry to anybody who would have wanted this, right, as a kid or even now. I know it's a cool little bit of kit. I'm really sorry for doing what I'm about to do and possibly making it so it doesn't even work. Jump cut. I've been working on this for about... There we go. For a solid 15 minutes. The thing's off, I've done a, a total job on that. Will it even work? These batteries have been in here for a long time. What, 20 something years they've been in here? I'm not optimistic, you can see there's rusting there. Oh, this doesn't work after all this. It's, it's got rumble action. Oh, cross your fingers at home. One, two, Three. I mean, we've got older ones. It's been in its packet, but it's had the batteries in the whole time too. There's noise. Beep, 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 beep. Hear that? Is that you, Stone Cold? On. What does that mean? Put the back, I can't put the back back on. What am I doing? Putting the back back on. There's just a very high pitched beeping going on. Maybe if I press the reset button? No, oh. Demo stopped it. Escape, on, on. Come on. This is not looking good. Ooh, <gasps> we've got, look at that. Some glitching, lots of glitching. I've, it's not working. It's not working, is it? I'll take the batteries in and out and everything. Is there a book? Careful not to cut myself. Warning, you should not connect a wrestling game to a boxing game. It's buzzing as well. This is not a good sign. Guys, I'm so sorry. See, demo's not shutting up now either. Oh no. I don't really know what I'm trying anymore. <gasps> MG, we've got it. Can you see that? It says reality. F 
Fighter, fighting, fight, fighters, fighters on, go, oh my god, right, you, oh, I, I'm going to try and make it so you can see this, oh, okay, how do I do this, Mo up, down, there we go, what's the year, it's not going to, this is going to millennium, but let's just say that's fine, that's fine, it's 19, 98 again. What's in the charts? Gina G. Was that before? I don't know. Up. Oh man, it's not even doing it. Yes, that's fine. It's not responding. It's doing something. Oh, this is a disaster. Let's try one more time and then we're going to give up on it. This has been the biggest bloody tease in the... Oh, reset. Yes. Uh, no. No. Yes. In escape. No. MGA, here we go. Maybe it won't ask me to set the date this time. Maybe it's just going to assume it's got it. Fingers crossed again. Yeah, we know. Reality. Oh, it takes forever. Reality fighters. I'm going mental here. No, don't ask me to set the date. Oh, it's done it though, hasn't it? 80, it goes all the way up to 2018. They thought people were going to be playing this for 20 years. Well, I get they... I, 22 years on. That, that's fine. That, that'll do me, pal. We've done it! The time is 10 in the morning. It's midnight. It's Steve Austin! Oh, it's actually working. Look at this. Who do we want to be? I'm Steve Austin, apparently. I've, I've pressed Steve Austin. And here we go. Okay, now select it wrestler. Austin. Kane. <laughs> Shawn Michaels. Or oh, big, mean Mark Calloway. Uh, let's be Shawn Michaels. Okay. Maybe you manage them all at once. Fun. Let's do some fun. The showers? Why did it go to the showers for fun? Fill up, pinball, or brick? I'll do brick. I've gone straight for the thing that's not wrestling. Look at that, though. You can play Tetris. You can play bloody Tetris on it. Can you see? Yeah, look at that. We don't want to do this, do we? Let's escape. I think I'm Austin now. I think I'm Austin. Wrestle. Austin versus computer. Let's do it. It's not rumbled yet, but I guess that's going to happen when we get hit. Enter. Yes. Austin versus computer. Yes. No, not select wrestler. Fight. Wrestle. Wrestle. Maybe he's not trained enough yet. Low energy. Oh, he's knackered because he's done so much. He's played a bit of Tetris and he's got to go to bed. Sleep. Lovely. That's Austin there, having a little kip, lovely. And he's good to go. Let's wrestle. Austin versus computer. Won't let me do it, I think I need to train him up a little bit more. Austin versus opponent won't let me do that either. He's probably knackered again now, he's gotta to go to bed. He just wants to go to bed. <laughs> oh no, don't set the time. I'm having a nightmare here. Yeah, fine, it's, yep, yeah, it's two past 11. Okay, I'm sure Michael's again. Training. Program for Shawn Michaels. Let's train. And there he is, pumping iron like the hot Playgirl cover star that he is. Am I doing this? Up, down, up, down. Again. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, just keep training. See, Shawn Michaels is no little bitch like Austin, all needing to kip every five minutes. Pathetic. Michaels, putting in the work. But that's enough. I've had enough training now. Are you knackered, Michaels? No, not select wrestler. Let's wrestle. Can we wrestle? Oh, uh, why don't I let me wrestle? That's why, oh, he's knackered now. He's like, he's done an Austin. Taking his ball and going to bed. Sleep, have a kit, lovely. I don't want to select wrestler, I just want to be Michaels. Medical, tape, aspirin, so somas. Where are they? Uh, yeah, let's, let's have the smelling salts. Pop those up your nose. <laughs> hey, it's the 90s, it's fine. Um, set training program, fun. It won't even let me select fun anymore. Feeding, yeah, let's feed them. See, now it's not letting me do anything. He just wants to sleep. They all just want to sleep. Status, name, Shawn Michaels. 
Doesn't do anything. Height, 6'1", 233 pounds, 31% body fat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's got an IQ of 64. He's got... <laughs> That's horrible. I guess he's got to train that up. He's, he's got no agility, no stamina, no energy, no health. He's just rubbish, isn't he? I guess I've got to train him up, but... You get the idea. I'm sure you want to see more of that at some point. Maybe I'll stream it. And if, if anyone's got one, when social distancing isn't a thing anymore, you can come over and we'll plug into each other and we'll have a bloody wait all the time. Let's crack on with it. Next one. We're going over to WCW now. And look at this bad boy. So this is the WCW Power Fighters game, and once again, it is produced by Tiger Electronics, so you know it's good. Uh, it's, it's obviously the most insane looking of the bunch. It's, it's Hulk Hogan, and they were available in a few uh, different designs. From memory, I recall seeing DDP, Sting, there, I think there, there was one more, maybe Goldberg, probably Goldberg. Um, so it goes on, the screen is the worst quality of the lot, despite the fact that this is one of the later LCD games. I can't really tell what I'm meant to be doing. The sound is awful. We're in the ring. So the idea is um, you, you do a bit of wrestling, you make as many uh, racially insensitive remarks as possible on the phone, and then in the boss level, you, uh, you have to sleep with your best friend's wife. It's not, you just, you just wrestle. You just wrestle. He's gone up top there. Hogan's, no, that's Goldberg, I think he's against. Yeah, I think that's, it's me versus Goldberg, but I can't really tell. No, because the person at the top there has got hair. It looks like Glacier. Is it Glacier? Hogan Glacier. It's a, there's one button for attack. It's really poor, this. It's really poor. It's uncomfortable to use as well, because it's, it's just so awkwardly shaped. There's nothing to like about this at all. There he is, clubbing him in the head. I've almost lost already, but I'm not particularly bothered. I don't want to play this anymore. There's his ass. There's the back. Uh, that's that's Hollywood Hulk Hogan, WCW. And you know what? This came out the same year as this bad boy and the next one that we're going to get to. This is the final one of the LCD games, right? It's the virtual face-off. Look at the difference in quality. This is why WWE won the Monday Night War, because their handheld games were 10 times better. Shut up, Hogan. Shut up. Shut up. Off. Thank you very much. So, on the box, we have got featuring Mega Motion. Feel the game shake. It's got rumble again. Uh, play against a friend includes a cable to uh, play up to 24 inches. <laughs> Uh, awesome sound effects, and it's got The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, two different controllers. One person's gonna play as Stone Cold, the other as The Undertaker. On the back, it's the same story here, Austin Rock, Austin McMahon, Austin Mankind. You, you're always gonna get an Austin in there. Such was his popularity. The tab's in. Cross your fingers, it won't come out. I'm pulling that as hard as I can. Oh, there we go, right, we're in. Will it work? It's actually working. I was not expecting that. It's actually getting straight into it. It's, it's gone into a demo mode. Let's get it open. Let's try not to injure ourselves in the process. Ugh. You get two of these bad boys. They connect somehow. Let's, let's see if we can play them against each other. It was Stone Cold that had the thing in on. Yeah, there we go. Look, do you need to buy a cable for it? There's no cable that comes with it. Unless it's held in there. There you go, look. No, there's the socket for it. There's the cable. So you get a tiny little cable for 24 inches of gameplay. Uh, pop that in there, in the back, and then they can play against each other. But the problem is, <laughs> as we know, I don't have a screwdriver that's going to get in there because it's even smaller than the last one, and I don't want to just we know what we're getting. You, you play against each other, that's not going to fit. Sorry guys. So we, you're going to get one of these. Bollocks to the cable. Right, we're getting stone cold. Get out, you bastard. Right. It feels like a proper games controller, right? All of the other ones are stupidly shaped. This is at, It sits in the hand quite comfortably. And look, Austin there, doing the pose. They've gone to some effort. Screw Tiger Electronics. MGA Sports are the boys here. And look at this, and now they're just having a bit of a dance. Look at that, look at his, look at his little leggies go. That was a very Jack the Jobber thing to say. Look at his little leggies. 
I don't even know what I'm pressing it. I've paused it. There's a pause button. We've not seen that yet. We've got sound, level. They're just jumping. They're just jumping. They're having a whale of a time. It rumbled. It rumbled there. Oh, I'm getting pinned. It's the best one yet. It's got shoulder buttons. Look at that. I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. We're cracking on still because you, you've seen enough of this. The, the table's a mess. The next one, it's not an LCD game at all. It's just rumbled. That wasn't me guffing. It's rumbling. It's rumbling all over the place. Look. I lost. There's the bell sound. Got pinned by Taker. Austin's jobbed out. I don't know how to stop it making any noise. Off. Oh, there you go. Done. Easy. It works. It actually works. Next up, it's not an LCD game. It's something a little bit different. We're not going to spend much time on this at all, but it was in somebody's uh, thing. It was like the related products. And it's a WWF calculator. And it doesn't work. <laughs> it needs a 1.5 volt battery, which I don't have. Where's the solar panel? But on the back, you get that. Look, you get your cut out Austin card. It was only a fiver. I thought, chuck it in. Lovely. Cut that out. It's got the bloody hologram, so you know it's officially licensed. It's just a bit of packaging, isn't it? But that's going straight in my wallet. So if I need to impress anyone, I can say, yep, yeah, that's me. I'm going to use that as ID. If I ever get ID'd in a Weatherspoons again. Hello, my name is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I'm uh, from Victoria, Texas. Uh, my favourite quote? <laughs> well, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. I'll have a pint of Doom Bar, please. There's the calculator. I was probably just going to write boobs on it. You know how the calculator works. You don't need to see any more. We've got two more things to go through. Let's crack on with it. I'll tell you what, by the way, I have no idea how Ashens does this, because this is the least comfortable thing ever. So they sent this as well. The, the, the seller messaged me, and she was like, I've got a WWF pinball machine. <laughs> it's WrestleMania 2000. It's knackered as well. This thing, when you're playing it, that drops down, but we're gonna try it out anyway. The legs are broken at the back. Let's, I, why am I doing it that way? You can see it this way. Pop that on, and as you can see, look, the thing just, it just falls down again and again. Power button's at the back, on the side. Where's the power button? There we go. Bing, 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 and look. You got your score up there. It's all kicking. That doesn't stay up, that's knackered. It's, it's all wonky as well. But that goes up, and then all, Tilt it, I'll show you. It's, it's broken. It's, it's properly broken. I know what you wanted rid of it. But look, it makes all the noise. There's the da 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 da. It gets a bit repetitive. Use the finger again. Bollocks to it. Come on, you. There you go. Uh, my current score is zero for some reason. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not increasing the score at all. You get the. I don't know why I picked that up. To be honest, it's rubbish. That. Right. Last thing. This isn't an LCD game, but I thought I'd get it anyway. We're done with that now. Goodbye, Ashens Cam. I thought I'd get it anyway, because it's an all-in-one console. Like, it's, uh, you need a TV, <laughs> but it's, it's, you don't need any cartridges or anything. It's just a standalone game, and I thought it was interesting. And it's one of the later bits. It's, in fact, it's the, it's the, it's the, the latest bit of uh, tat that we've got here. Uh, this was released in 2005, and I'm good to go. The batteries work. Uh, let's clear the table. Goodbye, all of this stuff. Bye. Okay. We bring the TV up here. You whack that on, it boots up like so. 2005, Jack Pacific, who used to make a lot of WWE toys, of course, and I'm gonna sit here and play it like a wrestler watching a wrestling match backstage, because that's the most natural way to watch TV, obviously. And this is how I watch all my TV. Um, on the thing, it's game key ready. I don't know what that means. I think you can add extra stuff to it. There's a little slot at the bottom. It's got a sticker on the back, $4.99. Paid three times that much. Somebody's got their saved game on there. We're not gonna go into that. We're not gonna go into that. But that's remained. And look at this. Bit of MIDI action. Loads of different types of uh, mode as well. I'm, Going to the options, I'm gonna whack the difficulty down to easy, just to crack on with this. I'd never seen this before. Let's have a look. Exhibition, one player. You've got Eugene, Booker T, Cena, Batista, oh, this con control's awkward. Uh, Randy Orton, Eddie, JBL, Trips, Chris Benoit, Kurt Angle. I would say, <laughs> that one of these is not like the other, as far as sort of star power back in 2005 goes. I guess Eugene was over. We will play as the Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena. 
And there he is. Take it on Booker T, you don't get to choose your opponent apparently. There they come to the ring. I mean, it's, it's by far the best thing, isn't it, that, that we've played today. No, actually, the Tamagotchi was really good. But fingers crossed, I'll be able to hit an, an AA. I don't know how to, I don't, no idea. I won't, oh, there we go, he's done it. That would sort of, yeah, that'll, that'll do you. Booker T's got no health, I should win this. Problem is, I don't know how to pin. I know how to stomp. Bad move, Cena. Pin, that's, that's a lot. One, two, take your time. Slow count, ref. Uh, championship, you can play as a tag team, survival. I thought this was interesting. There you go, like, a, yeah, there's the, the tournament thing. So you've got to take on Orton first, then Booker, then Batista, and I assume Eugene at the top. I don't want to play that, it's just going to be singles matches. We'll do a quick tag team. Uh, let's play as Orton. Oh yeah, tag team. Orton and... Angle. Oh, this is a tournament as well, I assume. So Trips is teaming with Eddie, Cena and Booker. Just like real life, look, it's Raw and Smackdown together. Whoa, what was that? Like DDT in there? I won't lie, it's really bloody hard to actually see what's going on. It's almost like backstage, the rest of us should probably just face the TV. Because I can't see a pissing thing. I think you get the idea by now. It's not the best gameplay, but for $4.99 from I don't know where that's from, Goodwill or something. It's from a thrift store or a charity shop or, or whatever. Not bad. So this has been a video, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna clear all this bollocks up now that I've strewn across the floor. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something today. I, in my head, this was gonna be more educational than it turned out. In the end, I just sort of broke a lot of stuff. Uh, that I now need to that I now need to clean up. Uh, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. More crazy bollocks coming soon. I don't know. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you later. Bye. Oh, did I lose? Bastards.